This story is, is one in which we've actually managed to improve something. This will benefit not only us, but everyone. We are showing that we can actually bring back something that was lost. Seaweeds like crayweed are super important. They actually provide the habitat and food for entire communities. It's not that long ago that we actually were able to quantify that crayweed has disappeared. It has disappeared from the entire Sydney metropolitan area. Just in those 70 kilometres where Sydney is, there's no crayweed at all. We know that it was around until the late 1970s or early 1980s. I actually saw it die firsthand. We think it has something to do with all the sewage that used to fall out pretty much directly onto the beaches and bays of Sydney at the time. It was literally that she turned up toilet. You know, it was disgusting. The cray weeds started to turn yellow and then started to die. And in almost no time at all, I'm talking about six months or so, this beautiful cray weed forest just turned into a bare rock. We know that in the last 30, 40 years, water quality in Sydney has increased phenomenally. You know, we have whales coming into Sydney Harbour. Is Sydney now a suitable place? Is the water quality good enough now to actually get cray weed back? We'll type, yeah. In the sea, most restoration efforts have failed. Inside the mat area, we've got five bolts that are vaguely here, here, here. The plan was to move some cray weed from places where it still exists back into Sydney where we know it used to be. So you guys don't want the cable ties going. To be honest, we, we didn't think it would work. We were very sceptical about the success of our first experiment. It was a November day, I remember. Still kind of cold in the water and we went out to have a little look at them and, and check on the adult crayweed. It was actually amazing. Not only we saw that the transplanted crayweed was still there, but also that they had babies. On the cable ties we'd use to attach them, on the bolts that we'd use to drill the mats into the ground, they were absolutely everywhere. When we saw that it was actually working, we were really excited because it's a good news story. So Operation Crayweed is underway, it works, but what we'd like is to actually bring it back to the whole of Sydney. We need some money to keep going. It costs a lot of money to move cray weed around. We need boats and divers and reforest Sydney's underwater landscape. It would be amazing, you know, just go diving there, seeing this underwater forest, all the fish that like living in it and hopefully lots of crayfish for, for us to, <laughs> to enjoy afterwards. Like crayfish, just simple with a bit of butter in the barbie, amazing.